What is up team? So in today's video, we're going to be having a look at Solana TA price analysis real quick, but we're also going to be having a look at this, some coin market cap, and of course, Bitcoin technical analysis, Bitcoin chart, Bitcoin rainbow price chart. Um, let's start off with Solana. We're going to dive into Bitcoin, then Bitcoin TA, then Solana TA, because we know Bitcoin's king and without Bitcoin pumping, Solana ain't going anywhere. Ranked number nine, guys, currently in the top 10 right here, 1.7 million people on the watch list, guys. Solana is crazy. Tr tr trade at $45. Like we made a nice little swing. $15 billion market cap. For those who got in at $25, congratulations. You are making money. 345 million Solana in circulation with a nice little pump right here happening. Um, we're pretty even in the past 24 hours, 0.10%, nothing too crazy. Um, that's, that's that on Solana, just a quick analysis, but we're going to be having a look at Bitcoin and then also a Bitcoin chart analysis and a Bitcoin and a Solana TA real quick on price prediction on where it's going. So yesterday on this uh, rainbow chart, something very, very interesting is we were actually at the bottom. We were in the basically a fire cell. We were right here. We were in the blue. Now, when you zoom in in this, we're actually climbing into the buy area. We're climbing into the new, into the second stage of the rainbow. Now we know ever since this has existed, we have never dumped below. I mean, look at that. I could bring history since 2012, guys. We have never dumped below. Can this be a sign that um, Bitcoin will pump? Are we gonna see Bitcoin coming back down to $12,000? Is it possible? Um, $12,000 would approximately bring, bring Bitcoin right here on the price analysis of rainbow chart. Is it possible? Are we gonna see a nice little relief bounce or are we gonna go to $200,000, $300,000? Guys, there's a lot, a lot of things we have to consider. I mean, you know, we never know, but uh, things are looking very, very interesting on Bitcoin right here. We did break very, very heavy support. Before I get into Solana TA, I just wanna talk about this real quick. We did break, break heavy resistance right here. We were consolidating for quite some time, actually. We we're consolidating, bouncing back and forth and now we're essentially exploding. Where can the price target be? Well, my price target is currently sitting at $28,000. If this happens, we could see altcoins fly. But look at the RSI, guys. It seems like the RSI is gonna curve as we get to the 70, and we're most likely gonna dumb back down. So it's gonna be very interesting to see how this plays out. But having a look at Solana real quick, um, guys, always not financial advice, always do your own research and due diligence, of course. But guys, at the end of the day, this d depends on Bitcoin, right? So if Solana actually, um, if, if Bitcoin actually dumps, we could see Solana reach under $60, which is right here, $59. The reason why that is, is because of this resistance right here. Now, now here's the bad thing. Here's, here, here's why I don't think we're going to pass $60. Yes, we could go to $60. We could dump right here. First of all, before I, I start with that, let's talk about the, the, the double pattern, uh, W pattern we have right here. This was a double bottom pattern. Okay. Two beautiful, beautiful double bottom, two touches towards the bottom. Then we swung, uh, start swinging to the highs, broke these two resistance right here. As you guys can see, uh, the two little yellow arrows. And now we're back up. The question is, is are we going to have a nice little retest? Are we, is this a fake out? Are we going to break below like we saw a few weeks ago on Bitcoin or last month? Or are we going to essentially break above it? Um, these are all questions, you know, we have to answer. We could either do something like this. We could continue up or we could essentially, this could be a, a false hope face, false breakout and just a dead cat bounce. And then just essentially come back down and stay in this triangle or in this horizontal uh, channel essentially. But, um, guys for Solana, things are looking great in my opinion right now. Technical analysis wise, if I have a look at the moving averages real quick, we are below the 50 moving average, which is nice. Um, I don't think we're going to go up and retest uh, this average right here, the 200. I think it's a little bit too high, but this is, of course, would be the next strong resistance right here sitting at $78 for the next bull run, whenever that is. Maybe it's this week, maybe it's not, but we're going to have to see how that happens. If we have a look at the EMA ribbon, guys, on the daily time frame, good thing. We have broken above the exponential moving average for the first time, guys, since April 11. So, so Solana has broken above the exponential moving average since April 11th. Now, if I have a look at Bitcoin, guys, we are almost breaking above it. Now, we know when Bitcoin flips those exponential moving average and they flip green, guys, we know we're going straight to 27,000, like 70%. There's no, you know, there's no question about that. But Solana, having a look at Solana actually flipping, things can get very, very bullish right here on Sol. Um, it seems like these ribbons right here or the bands are making a nice little movement towards the top, which is very, very nice. It could act as support. This could be a well, a support region for Solana, but we're going to have to see how that plays out on the four hour time frame, guys on the four hour time frame. Oh, something that I want to have a look at on the RSI real quick on the daily time frame. Now, the reason why I think 
this is gonna this is not so great is because look at this guys the last time we were right here we were at 59 look where the look how low the rsi was the rsi was at 33 guys that's not a good sign because that means that right now we're hitting at 70 and we're below this area now we know everything anything that's below 30 is oversold anything that's above uh, 70 is overbought now the interesting thing right here is that is that um the fact that we were right here at sitting at 32 33 and we were sitting at 60 dollars i don't even want to know how the next crush is going to be like i mean maybe we could do something like this we're probably going to be oversold like that make make some sort of a movement get rejected at this region right here approximately um this region right here because this is also a resistance and then come back down now god knows how low solana can go i mean if we were at 60 dollars and the rsi was at 30 imagine what we can do we could probably do something like this at 20 and by the time we're at 20 we're most likely going to do something like that so uh the rsi is most likely going to do something like this and then we're most likely going to keep dumping and then guess what we're most likely going to keep dumping here as well so unless we could hold these levels and consolidate a little bit and have the rsi have a nice little relief rally toward the bottom i don't see i don't see anything i don't see solana uh pumping above 60 dollars or even pumping above this region right here i mean on the daily time frame things aren't looking so great i mean we're still bearish guys i just want to say something we're still bearish there's no question a lot of people are saying oh the pump anyone thinks that bitcoin will go below twenty thousand, guys we are still extremely bearish we have a recession coming up we have a lot of negative news happening interest rate are going to keep ri rising there's a lot of bearish news happening around the market guys the economy right now is not stable also with a food shortage you really think in a food shortage people are going to go ahead and and buy bitcoin stocks or gold no they're going to be accumulating food right now is a food shortage they're going to be accumulating dough they're going to be accumulating flour beans canned foods canned goods um things that could last a while because we don't know how bad this food shortage is going to be no one knows so it's very very important you know i'm not saying it's going to happen it's going to be as bad a lot of people are, are saying it's going to be as bad i don't think it's going to be as bad the food shortage but it's important to understand that you know with interest rate going high and everything go high, going high it's inter it's it's important to understand that you know not everyone just because interest rate are going high not everyone's going to dump their money in bitcoin or just because there's high inflation not everyone's going to dump their money on bitcoin the economy right now is very very um fragile but let's have a look at this pattern right here on soul we've been in this channel right here bouncing back and forth uh so we were increasing while the rsi has been going sideways which is a good news this is what we want to see we want to essentially trend to the upside but that being said if we break this level right here i wouldn't be surprised if we free fall all the way back to 30 dollars, guys i really really would not be surprised if we see a crazy crazy red candle we saw it happen right here we were trending to the top and then guess what we saw free fall massive massive free fall on the daily time frame same happened right here we were trending towards the top we broke that um we broke that resistance or that support came back down and guess what doing it again guys we're doing it again and we're gonna keep doing it again until there's more bo uh, bullish news overall but right now yes ta we could be bullish it was down it, it was bound to have the a correction we were oversold right here on july 12 so as you guys can see like i said anything that's below 30 investors are going to be looking to buy and guess what it's doing the same exact pattern right here and that's about it but the fact that we're going sideways right here is good we're holding these levels pretty pretty good in my opinion we're gonna have to see how the rest plays out and that's about it if you guys like this video of course don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe link is in the description for my twitter guys i tweet a lot talk about crypto talk about nfts feel free to give me a, a follow i'm growing fast on twitter and i'll see you guys in my next video tomorrow